Hey guys, this is Silas so with uh, Team Silas Baca, brokered by EXP Realty, and today we're in El Paso, or El Truco, uh, Airbnb here in central El Paso, and so we're gonna check it out today. This is Adria Gonzalez and thank you for coming to my Chuco Airbnb. I'm going to show you around what we have, um, the designs and how I actually found so many things in this property. This property is almost 80 years old. I'm very proud of it and it's on central side. So let's check out what we have inside my property in Chuco. So here I found, as I was flipping the property, I found this letter. It's from 1927. It comes from a mother from Chihuahua sending a letter to her daughter telling her, hey, do you need any help? I could send you your sisters and anyone that you need. And it's very unique, very beautiful letter. As you could see, the handwriting is unique. Where'd you find it at? I found it at actually down in the uh, attic. Okay. And uh, it was, I was not expecting that letter. I just <clears throat> broke a wall down in the foundation and it just fell on me. I was like, whoa, what Real is nice. this? And what about the gold? What did you do with the gold? The gold? There's no gold. <laughs> there's no gold. And I was actually going to, I was like, is there gold around here? Yeah. But no, there was no gold. The no silver gold. coins? Yeah. Some people. <laughs> yeah, I was like, where's the gold? No gold at all. kitchen actually uh, I did not do a lot of remodel into it I just wanted to leave it as it was back in the early 1900s so as you could see all my uh, my guests leave their notes and I love people to be showing off how they felt you know staying here in our Chuco Airbnb and then um, artwork which I love from our people from uh, 915 El Paso, aye, aye, 915 El Paso. Um, and also I'm very proud of my heritage, my culture, which is Mexican. That's right. Yeah, you think I'm white and people are like, wait a minute, she has colored eyes and she's Mexican-American. I am Mexican-American. Uh, my family comes from Chihuahua, uh, from Parral. And one of my great aunts uh, was in the revolution with Pancho Villa. Mm -hmm. uh, her name was Valentina Ramirez and they call her the Mexican Mulan. Oh, nice. Yeah. I don't know why. At first I was like, what the, why the Mexican Mulan? Because she actually uh, fought in the revolution and uh, she actually disguised herself as a man in order to fight in the, in the battle. In the battle? Yeah. Nice. So it's kind of unique, it's kind of cool. <laughs> so if we go around here, okay. simple, simple. <laughs> I have everything simple. Your table, your refrigerator. I do leave coffee, some snacks for my guests. Um, everything just simple. And I left the, the design kind of like if you're in the wild, wild west. Um, and um, it's just simple and, and beautiful. And then I put the colors as if you were in Mexico, which is the hot pink, hot, uh, hot green. Yeah. Um, Dia de los Muertos, uh, which we do still celebrate. Uh, in my family. Yeah. So the property, when I went uh, to the El Paso Library, I checked out uh, the history of the building. Uh, the building was actually, uh, the residents were maids and prostitutes. Can I say that? Can I say that? Eh, no, pues prostitutas. Service girls. <laughs> service girls. <laughs> Not prostitution, but service girls. They're dancers. Uh, yeah, yeah, just don't. And uh, so I found out that they they used to live here okay. so it's very unique you know putting an airbnb and then you know mates mates live here it's yeah. kind of like unique <laughs> um but yeah and then pancho v on this street would ride his horses on uh los la calle muertos mm -hmm. um he would ride his horses around here so it, it has a lot of history this central side of 
of this area. Right. A lot of history. And then also we're like, what, two, three minutes away from the border? Yeah. So it's nice. What made you design this property as a Tuco or, you know, Mexican heritage versus anything else? Like, what was the concept behind it? Well, the concept, we, well, well, I'm very, uh, very mm -hmm. proud of my culture, Mexican American. And then also I grew up in this uh, area. So I said, why not put something all together, mm -hmm. the American and the Mexican all together blended. And that's how it came out to El Chuco, mm -hmm. the original Chuco. The original. Central <laughs> side. <laughs> Alright guys, now that we kind of toured the inside, got a little history, we're going to head outside and check out the patio. Um, let's go check it out. So as you can see right now, we're still remodeling uh, for this summer. This summer is going to look beautiful in the backyard. You're going to have natural light, uh, beautiful plants outside. Uh, we're, we're just excited uh, that we're going to be designing this for our guests. I love this area. It's a nice little patio. Where all and people don't expect that when they, they yeah. come to the central I Chuco didn't site. It. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, okay, then I guess yeah. we're going to have a simple patio. No, it's going to be a very, very beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Do, do you have other um, Airbnbs in the area too? Or? Yes, I do actually have yeah. another property which is called the Mini uh, Studio India, mm -hmm. and it's right in back of this property. Oh, gotcha. Okay, cool. And how long have you owned this property? Uh, well, my parents actually owned it, uh, my mom and my brother, they're the owners mm -hmm. and they've uh, had it uh, for, I believe, more than five years. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. cool. Alright guys, well that was a tour of El Chuco Airbnb here in Central El Paso. And um, if you guys liked it, hit the like button, hit subscribe and definitely go on to the comments below and uh, check out the link so you guys book this, uh, this property. Got any clothing? Thank you so much and thank you for coming and looking at my Chuco Airbnb. Oh yeah, super nice. Thank I you. I hope I have some people coming. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> thank you guys. See you on the next one.